Hello guys, welcome again to second part of our Chain Spike Mess Blender 3D series tutorial. And in this second part, we will create a spike that will spread all over a uh, icosphere object. We will use a simple icos icosphere blender object. So let's create one with wait. Mesh and icosphere here. And then next we will create a cone mesh. Like that. And I'm gonna set the parameter on <coughs> set all the fair on con parameter here. Maybe twelve vertex vertices and radius maybe point five and then depth maybe one point five. like that and then I wanna add more detail by adding torus object and then Just edit a little bit. I'm gonna try to join the torus and this uh, con object so. Select. these two object and control J for join if you want to separate you can go to edit mode and just press P on keyboard keyboard and just this by this part but I don't want to separate these two objects so next we will create a multiple spike here this object and spread them on this icosphere object for that test we need to set parent this icosphere object so select the cone first and then icosphere object and control p and set 
parent to object here and if you look on the this outliner editor you will see the icosphere have a new object called torus 001 and now we will connect these two objects but first we need to create a multiple spike of this cone object so click on icosphere object and choose torus 001 and next on duplication we will duplicate 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 this object click on faces like that but we don't want this kind of spike so go to wireframe and you can scale the main object like this see just can scale as you like and let's just try to render the scene as you can see we can we can have the icosphere object on render result that happened because the icosphere objects now um, act like a helper object it's in virtual so to fix it we can go to object with mm, select the the whole parent object and go to object apply and just make duplicate duplicate real like that and let's try to render again now we have the icosphere object back again just make sure you already have a uh, the size of the spike you want before you apply the duplicate real tool because now you can i don't think you can uh, scale the size of this spike again and next i want to make it the <coughs> this spike smooth so just click smooth here and oops sorry as you can see now the spike become an individual object we can select them all like this and control j now it become one object and then i want to that smooth the spike object and I rename this layer to maybe spikes as you can see uh, our pivot point is not in the center of the spike object and I want to put it on the center of the spike so go to set origin and click on origin to center of mesh 
Now you can see the po pivot point is moving in the middle of the of the object. And I also want to make the these two object align so, so we will join them together in the right position. So first click on spike object and then click on icosphere object and go to object transform and click on align object <coughs> like this and center and make sure all the like x click on x y and set like this so and i just need to pull the spike a little bit up Oops, sorry like this now we already placed the spike on our icosphere object we also can make this object uh, create a parent by making the I icosphere object as a parent so when we move the this icosphere object the spike also will move along with its parent so first click on the spike and then click on the icosphere object and control p and just parent like that and let's try see it's moving now and now we will place Maybe like that. And scale a little bit. Yes, I think it's enough for now. But of course, you can do the scale a little bit. Like that. And let's try to render. Oops, sorry. Okay. Wait. Yes, that's it. I think it's enough for now. We, I, I think I'm gonna scale it a little bit and I see you next time on 
we will try to add material on this spike chain waste so make sure to subscribe to this channel and see you soon bye